Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Aries, you guys got Reclaim Your Power, Panther Spirit in Reverse. We're going to have to look more into this card. But it's interesting because we have this card, which is saying Reclaim Your Power. And then we have these two cards, which are telling me that you're going to be very lucky in finances. So we have like this opposite energy, right? Like, Reclaim your power. However, like in finances, you seem to be doing really well. You have the King of Pentacles coming up um, with the Six of Pentacles. The fish mean a lot of like luck and money, a lot of abundance, a lot of wealth. And then this is like the Lucky Clover. So there's definitely like money as well. Like there's definitely no problem in money. I don't know why Panther Spirit came up in reverse though. We're going to have to look more into that. But in terms of money, in terms of wealth, if you guys are looking to receive money, um, then you're like you you would probably be really happy but what's also interesting is like maybe you guys are too focused on wealth because there's a lot here about wealth and then there's something here about how you're still there's something about your power that's not um right so i'm gonna look more into this but if you guys are only focusing on money right now yeah it's good to focus on you know it's good to be wealthy it's good to have like nice things in life it's good to not have to worry about like you know where your food's coming where your house is um how your car is doing but at the same time there's something still a little off here. So let's see what this is. So yeah, before I even clarify, you can see Aries what I'm talking about, like just by looking at the spread. If you guys see, you have the Ace of Pentacles, right? This is like, again, it could be a new opportunity in career and finances. And I see that this is what's, this is really what's fueling you, like money, um, monetary gains and abundance, right? Wealth. Um, and you see with integrity, it's not, you're not doing anything shady, like you're doing everything the way that you should do in terms of career, but like in terms of making a living, in terms of money, but then it seems like everything else is a little bit imbalanced here because we have abundance in reverse next to the fish. So it's funny because you're coming up as king of pentacles. You're coming up as the empress in integrity. But then you have love in reverse. You have the ten of pentacles in reverse, abundance in reverse, knowledge in reverse, the seneschal in reverse, or the scribe in reverse, the three of pentacles in reverse. So everything else is in, is in reverse. And that's why I think um, Jaguar spirit is coming up also in reverse because you're letting everything I think else go by the wayside in a certain aspect, whoever this Aries is. You're putting way too much focus on one thing and you're letting everything else kind of slip through your fingers. And I'm wondering if this is gonna have like really big repercussions for you in the future. Because yeah, it's fun to be in this energy. Um, I, I see like it's rewarding. You feel like it's very rewarding to you, but at the end of the day, you're not listening. With the scribe in reverse, you're not listening to the spirits. You're not listening to your guides. You're not listening to the scribe. Um, and I see like some of you guys have no knowledge of what real abundance is. So like in your mind, you having wealth is like the epitome of like being successful and the epitome of having abundance. And what I'm getting is like, they want you to know what true abundance is, but you might not really understand that because you're just chasing paper. You're not chasing the right abundance. So it's like, um, again, that Bob Marley thing. I always say this when I talk about money, but it's like, what is riches to you? What does riches mean to you? You know, like what, what is riches? Is riches money? Is riches family? Is riches um, love? You know what I mean? I feel like riches is love and happiness to me. Like if I say what what is riches, I'd say love and happiness, right? Um, being calm, being grounded, being uh, faithful, like being, you know, like having this like inner peace, like that's richness, right? Um, you know, having my health. Um, but I see here, like everything else for you, it, you could give a fuck. It's all about the coin. And love is literally in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Relationships are in reverse. Loyalty doesn't really matter to you. People's loyalty to you. I feel like people are showing you loyalty and you could give a fuck because you're focused only on one thing. So this is, it could go pretty badly if we don't kind of steer the ship around, Aries. Let's see a little bit more about love in reverse. You're rejecting somebody here. We have a Queen of Swords and a Queen of Cups in reverse. Somebody here has told you what it is. 
this is like someone who told you, who, who knows about abundance, who knows about riches, who knows, who already has learned this lesson. So what you don't understand about wealth is like it can go, you can be wealthy one day, you can have money one day on the 3D and then you can be, have none the next. And that's what we talk about when we, when we mean abundance. Our true abundance can be taken away from you. And this person here that tried to like explain that to you, they, they have explained that to you. There's someone around you who I think was very loyal to, who was very like part of your life, who had the knowledge that you didn't have, was trying to show it to you. You, you ignored them. You ignored them. You ignored the scribe, whoever this is. And I see this person kind of retracting from you, but they told you the truth. Like this person in particular told you the truth. They told you what it was and you didn't listen to them. They're taking back their love though. Like they're taking it back. They told you what it was and now they're retracting from you. And I feel like this Ten of Swords is not for them. It's going to be for you. And I hate to like be like that person that's going to try to predict shit. It's not a prediction. I think it's an actual like reality. Like it's a fact. Like if you continue on this path, you're going to lead straight yourself straight to the Ten of Swords. So I feel like this is a warning for whoever this is that when, what you're chasing is not going to make you more powerful. It's not going to make you... I mean, yeah, on the 3D, you could say it will, but in reality, that's only if you look at abundance as having money. But if you look at abundance as other things, um, it will leave you abundant in one aspect, but in all others, no. Whatever, for whoever this person is. Because again, we need balance. We cannot just be focusing on one thing. And you seem to just be, this is someone who is like tunnel visions, only focusing on one thing. Yeah, you're not balanced in what you're doing and how you're treating others, especially this person who, for some reason, told you the truth and you didn't believe them or told you what it was or had some higher knowledge. Like, they, they know more than you. I hate to say that, but they do. They're coming up next to the Ace of Swords. Like, they know more than you. They tried to teach you this and you didn't understand. You're going to understand one day, but I feel like for some of you, it might be a little bit late. <sighs> Let's see if there's anything else that you need to know, Aries. Somebody's going to be left out in the cold here. Or someone's leaving. Again, it could be this person. They're leaving you. They're taking their love and leaving you. I don't think it's this person going to be left out in the cold. I think it might be you, Aries. So, Aries, if, you're, if this is for you, if this reading resonates with you, it's not too late to get back on track. It's not too late to put value into things like relationships, into love. Put, put some more balance into your life but this has to be coming from your mind and your heart and like what you actually believe abundance is and again this is a hard lesson to learn i see a lot of you guys have to learn the hard way though let's pull some advice aries it's a little concerning because we have the salamander and the lizard. You see, like, they're very similar. This kind of talks about, like, the lizard brain, right? If you guys have ever heard that expression, the lizard brain, which is, like, the, you know, someone who is, you know, very self-involved, someone who's very primitive. So, like, you only care, you know, you, you, and, and this, is, this is why I feel like you're going to have to learn this the hard way. Because until you lose everything, that's when you know what truly matters. So this is going to hit somebody very hard. I really hope this is not going to resonate with a lot of you. Then we have Mary Magdalene, the Apostle to the Apostles. I'm the bridge between heaven and earth. I'm fully human and fully divine. You met somebody here who was telling you this. You know how Mary Magdalene was very loyal to Jesus? Um, she was someone who, you know, the Apostle to the Apostles. She was someone who followed in Jesus' footsteps, but she she learned what Jesus learned. Like she, she took it a step further. Like she wasn't an apostle who just like learned everything and then spit it out. She learned it and then tried to live her life the same exact way. And it wasn't, it wasn't like, it was very different from the apostles because she herself tried to transform um, her, her own inner self. It was more than just like repeating the words or spreading the news. It was about like actually interpreting it and like making it one with herself making herself as holy as she could, making herself as divine as she could. Like it had nothing to do with, you know, it, if she was tested in moments and yeah, you would see her faith being tested. But at the same time, like she was one who was like, I'm gonna, like I, I'm already one with this knowledge. And that's this person here. So you've already been warned. That's what I'm getting. 
and you were supposed to maybe follow this person or you're supposed to learn something from this person, this person will come back in your head when you learn the lesson. So when you're going through this, you're gonna probably reach out to this person, but I don't know if this person will be there because this person seems to already be kind of gone. So yeah, this is a tough lesson. Um, I don't even know, I feel bad for whoever this is, but you know, sometimes the, the only way we learn things is the hard way. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. Aries, I love you. I hope this helps and I'll see you next time. Bye.